Hi, I'm Bobby Weir, and we're at Amoeba, and this is what's in my bag. Is there anything a man don't stand to lose? When the devil wants to take it all away, cherish well your thoughts, keep a tight grip on your boots, cause thinking and drinking are all I have today. First things first, bring this out. Oh, all right, this is uh, Miles Davis's classic record. Everybody's heard heard these tunes a million times, and people keep playing it. What is it? Sixty years later, he so changed the entire idiom and the way music was conceived and what people expected of music. You know, he he just changed it. He changed everything. This is the new Wilco record, and I don't have it yet, and I've not heard it yet. I've heard a few of their tunes, but they're a good band. They, they listen to each other, they play off each other, all that kind of stuff, and they've been together for years, so they know how to rise and fall together and all that kind of stuff. They have great dynamics and uh, good songwriting and, and good music and great interplay. A real solid American band. This is a nice little compendium and I don't have it. You know, I'm a huge Alan Wolf fan. He was a monster. Grab your telephone, something just ain't right. That's evil, evil is going on wrong. This one, another blues record, my old pal Taj Mahal, and it's, it's Hula Blues Band. I've not heard it. And, um, and so I, I, I've got to give, give this one a listen. Oh, God, please take off your shoes. Ah, slice me some shell and give me the new rule of blues. I'm not entirely sure this is my favorite of their records, but it's one of them. This is the era I think that they might have been dabbling with LSD a, a little bit. You don't Bessie Smith, I don't have this this collection. I'd totally forgotten about Bessie Smith until uh, a few nights back. I was playing in Mill Valley at a little club there with Ramblin' Jack Elliott, and he does a couple of Bessie tunes, and uh, and I was backing him up basically, and we did uh, Mean Old Bed Bug Blues, and oh, that's right, these songs are great. She was she really had something going back then. And I'd totally forgotten it, so I, you know. I'm gonna sit down with this stuff and uh, and see what I can't glean from it. Now well, this is Africa Brass. That particular tune, Africa Brass, was my introduction to uh, to John Coltrane. Boy, did that snap my eyes wide open. Not everyone could see the new vistas that he was he, he was uh, he was showing them. Um, I could. His, his offering was essential to the uh, to what's become of and what is to become of, uh, of American musical heritage. This is another one of his and has one of my favorite of his tunes, Tunji. I steal licks and I steal chordal progressions and stuff from that right and left. I will continue to um, endlessly. Thank you so much for talking with us today. You bet.